Hey guys, it's Katie Cakes here, and today I'm going to be doing my March wrap-up. Um, so I read 15 books this month, and uh, yeah, not all of them were good. Some of them were, but not all of them were. Um, some of them were ebooks or library books, so I don't have all of them, but I do still have these ones. Um, the top one is a library book, and it'll be going back tomorrow. Um, but the library books I kind of had to return before I was able to make this video with them. Um, because the month wasn't over yet. Um, so yeah. Um, so the first book that I read was Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. Um, I didn't like this book at all. Um, I picked it up because Emma Books had recommended it. She had talked about it a lot and said it was really good. And then... I just started seeing it everywhere so I decided to try and read it and just nothing happened for me. It wasn't grasping my attention. It took me how long to read this book? It took me... It's not going to show me. Oh, it took me six days to read this book and that was because I was literally pushing myself through the book. Um, I kept falling asleep every time I was trying to read it. Um, I did, like, I was able to finish it, though, because it was a shorter book. Um, but I really had to push myself through this book. So it was not for me. Um, you guys might like it. Um, but I do not. And I will not be continuing reading the series. Um, just nothing grabbed my interest in it. I thought it sounded cool. So I really wanted to read it, and then, yeah, it was just too boring for me. Um, my Goodreads review said, I hated this book, I feel like absolutely nothing happened. Every time I kept trying to read it, I would fall asleep and have to do something else, and then pick it up again later. Uh, then when I got to only having half the book left, I wanted to get through it so that I could read something else. This is a book I should have DNF'd, but didn't. I will not be continuing with this series. I gave it 1 out of 5 stars. I did not like it at all, and I do not think I will be picking up another book by Maureen Johnson. Um, but yeah, sadly, that is how um, March started for me. And, yeah. So, after I read that book find my review on here. Then I read uh, Big Little Lies by, uh, I think it's Leanne. It, it might be Lane Moriarty. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm sorry if I very badly butchered this name. Um, I really enjoyed this book. I gave it five out of five stars. Um, I picked this series up because I had watched the TV show already, so I wanted to see um, how much the TV show followed the book, and I've got to say that it followed it really well. Um, unfortunately, I did. I do think that I liked the TV show more than the book. Um, usually it's the opposite because there's more detail in the books, um, but... That was not the case for this book, but I did still really enjoy it. Like I said, I gave it 5 out of 5 stars, and I will be reading more by this author. Um, I do own... Where is it? Oh. I own uh, The Husband's Secret by this author as well. Um, so I'm going to be reading this one soon. And I think I own one more by her, but I'm not sure. But... Um, what did I say? Uh, I feel as though this book was written wonderfully and wholeheartedly. You not only get the story from every angle, abused wife, traumatized mother, etc., but you get the feel involved, but you get to feel involved in the story. I knew it would happen because I watched the show, but I think they did a wonderful job with the show. They didn't miss anything and not a lot of book to movie adaptations are able to accomplish that. This is definitely a story I would read again, and I look forward to reading another story by this author. So, yeah, I really enjoyed this book, um, and it was 
very refreshing after reading Truly Devious. Um, so it was nice to go from one star to five stars. Um, so, yeah. And then it did keep up for a while. Not quite five stars, but... Yeah, so next I read the 100 series. Um, so this is the first book in the series. Um, so there's four books. Um, I liked them. I liked the first two the most, and then it just died for me. Um, I just felt like it kept happening. Like, the same thing just kept happening, and nothing was resolved. And I think that the TV show did such a better job than... Um, the book, just because nothing, like, it happened, but it, it also didn't happen, and I know that probably makes absolutely no sense at all to you guys, um, but, like, it kept enough interest for me to finish the series, but I just felt like it was kind of repeating itself near the end, and, yeah, but I did read all four of them, so there's the 100, and then day 21, uh, Homecoming and The Rebellion. So, I do own them all. Um, honestly, I am never going to read this series again. Um, because it, like, I enjoyed it, but not enough to read it again. Um, if I do read it again, it'll be way, 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 way down the line, but I really don't think so. Um... But I'm keeping them because I want the 100 pops. Um, and so I want to have the books to go with them. It's the same with Jurassic Park. I still have the Jurassic Park books even though I didn't really like them. Um, and that's just because I wanted the books to go with my pops. Um, so for right now I will be keeping them. Maybe eventually down the line I will get rid of them. Um, but right now I'm keeping them. Um... But yes, I gave the 100 and Day 21 four stars, and then I gave Homecoming and the Rebellion three stars. So, my review for this book was, the book was interesting enough, but I was hoping all the same characters from the show would be in it. However, I am very excited to continue with the series. I read this book very fast and can't wait to continue. Yeah, the show had a lot more memorable characters for me. Um, like, the book has Clark, Bellamy, Octavia, and, um, the mayor's son. Oh, what's his name? Wells. Um, but there was a lot of people from the TV show that I really liked that was not in the book. But, I mean, obviously I can't. You know, because the book was first. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. And then, day 21, the review I gave is, I'm loving this sh series. The show did a good job in keeping the interest alive from the books. Some things are different, but that's okay. I can't wait to finish the series and see if there's anyone, any more similarities or differences between the show and the book. And then, Homecoming. Uh, I've got to say I'm kind of disappointed in the series. The TV show had so much more action happening. This book series lacks a lot, but it's still good, and I'm enjoying it enough, but I don't know if I'll read it again. So, this is where I started to kind of turn over on the series, because it really just wasn't grasping me anymore. Okay. And then the last review I gave this series for The Rebellion, uh, this series ended up losing me a bit at the end. I really enjoy the show, and I also see that they had to make up a lot of the TV show because nothing really happens in the books. I feel as though all four books could have been turned into one or two longer books. There was no need for four of them other than the fact that the author wanted to make more money. I doubt that I will ever read this series again. So... If you read these books, you probably understand what I'm meaning. Um, if you haven't, go check them out and figure it out for yourself. Um, it's not that I wouldn't recommend the series, because I did enjoy it. Um, I'm just not going to read it again. Um, and then the next book I read 
was Follow the Rabbit Proof Fence by Doris Pilkerton and Nugi Gar Garimara. I hope that I said those properly. I'm not sure. You guys can't see this at all. Okay, let's see. Oh. How do I... Um, display and brightness. Brightness. Let's see if this helps any. There. Okay. Yeah. Follow the rabbit proof fence. Um, I gave this five out of five stars. Um, I had just recently found out that this was a book, actually. Um, I thought it was just the movie. Um, but there's a book, and, um, it was adapted very well from the book to the movie. Um, and I do also have the movie available at the library right now to rent, um, because I couldn't get it on, um, Apple iTunes thing to recommend, or to, uh, rent it. Um, so I do have to get it from the library, which is fine, and I will probably be picking that up tomorrow. Um, what did I say? I said, this is a truly inspiring story. Never give up on getting back to your family and doing what you want. Just because people are trying to force you to be like them doesn't mean you should let it happen. I'm glad I was able to read this story. It was a very short book. It was a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be. Um, so I literally finished it in like four or five hours. Um, so yeah, it was a good book. Um, and then another book that I read, um, it was recommended off of Under the Covers. I believe it was either under the covers or piece love books um, and that was the white trash zombie series um, this book I borrowed from the library so I don't have the copy of it um, I was really intrigued by the story and it ended up reminding me a lot of I zombie which is why I probably picked it up so fast um, I did give the first book five stars um, and it's called my life as a white trash zombie and it is by Deanna Rowland um, I really enjoyed this book. I got a bit of everything. Zombies, romance, suspense, mystery. It also reminds me a lot of iZombie. And I look forward to reading the rest of the series. Fortunately, that did not stick through the entire series. There is six books. Um, when I got to book three, I figured out there was six. I thought there was only five um, because that's all that the library had. So I did go out and buy the sixth book, which I have returned now because I didn't like it. Um... But, you'll see my reviews change. But I did give that book, um, 5 out of 5 stars. And then, number 2 is Even White Trash Zombies Get the Blues. Um, I gave this one 5 out of 5 stars as well. Uh, once again, I am loving the series. It's got zombies and action, mystery. It feels like it has everything and I love it. Can't wait to start on the next book. I love how I think I have things figured out and then it turns out to shock the hell out of me. So, still loving it. The next one is White Trash Zombie Apocalypse. I really liked the covers of these books too. This one I gave 4 out of 5 stars, so the series did start going downhill for me. I feel like the author is starting to slack and lose things to write about. I feel as though there's no one else they can introduce to us to have. So they have to use the same people over and over again as the bad guy to make a plot. However, I'm still enjoying the story and I will be reading the rest of the series. Um, the part that I didn't like about this series is that it just like it kept repeating itself. It was the same bad person, like the same bad like group, and it was just ongoing. It was, I just... I couldn't read it. I had to push myself through the fourth book, which I gave three out of five stars. So I went from five stars, five stars, four stars to three stars, um, which still isn't too bad. But, you know, from having a five star first read, going to the fourth book and having to literally shove myself through the book. And then I thought, you know, I really was enjoying the series. So maybe I'm just like over it right now. So I'll read another book. Um, and I ended up reading two books in between it, and then I tried to pick up the fifth book, and I was like, no, I have no interest in reading this fifth book. So I gave them all back to the library, 
and I returned the copy of the sixth book that I had bought and I just I didn't finish it um, but my review for the fourth book was as much as I want to finish the series I think I've lost interest in it and I don't know if I can indeed finish it nothing is holding me to wanting to finish the other two books anymore I feel like the series could have ended after book one however I enjoyed the second book as well and the third one was okay along with this one I'm going to try it and read a different book and then come back to this one to see if I'll just need a break from the series for a while like I said I did not end up going back I just it lost my interest because it was just it was so repetitive and I, I didn't like it like yes have a series but different like it's I don't know I don't know Okay, so then the next book I read was They All Fall Down by Roxanne St. Clair. Um, I, I found this book on Book Outlet. I think it was like $4. Um, it really intrigued me, so I was really excited to read it. Um, and then I did read it, and I only ended up giving it 3 out of 5 stars. Which is a disappointment. I feel like they could have done so much more with the book, and... Uh, this book had an interesting concept, concept, but wasn't very well written, in my opinion. I feel like it could have been written much better instead of just thrown together to make a story. I wasn't overly interested in what was happening. I just wanted to know how the book itself was going to end. I won't be reading this book again. It will be off to Fair's Fair for a new book. I did take it to Fair's Fair, and um, they didn't want it. So, <laughs> I'm going to try again later because maybe they just have too many of them or maybe um it's just not in their system as a book I don't know because I also wouldn't take my blue bio copy um by Jiffy Kate that I have from Romanceopoly because I didn't like it um but yeah three to five stars it wasn't a horrible read but I I wanted more and it just it wasn't there and then I read um, the Perfectionist series by Sarah Shepard, by Sarah Shepard, because as most of you will probably know, the Pretty Little Liars, the Perfectionists spin-off TV show is airing soon? I think it's like a couple more weeks. I think it's on like the 24th or something. Um, so I wanted to read the books to see... Um, how I liked them, and I read Pretty Little Liars before I watched them. So, I wanted to do the same thing. Um, so the first book in... Come on. The first book in that series is The Perfectionists. I had borrowed the first book from the library. I own the second one, but it will unfortunately be going to, uh, Fair's Fair. Um, so, yeah. I gave the first book three out of five stars. Uh, this book has a good concept, but it's really hard to follow with how much the author switches the person's view. I know pieces about each girl, but it's hard to determine who is who in the end, but I will finish the next book in hopes that I will find out who the killer is. I'll explain that to you in a second. And then I read The Good Girls, which is book two. It's the last book in the series. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I gave this one four to five stars, so it did get a little bit better. Um, since I had read the first book in the series, I was able to get a better understanding of how the author decided to write this book, and it was also more enjoyable. I was able to fo follow the story a little bit better. I was so little confused about which girl was who, and I wish the author would have included a part at the end of the book that jumped us ahead to tell us what had happened to everyone. But in, all in all, it was a good read. And it was... Um, the part that I didn't like is that literally every single chapter switched to a new girl, and you're following five girls throughout the story, and it just gets really, really confusing. Um, like, she did the same thing in Pretty Little Liars, but I feel like it was more, like, it was well-written better. That didn't make sense. It was written better, and you just got more, like, in-depth of the characters. Like, there's five girls in the story, and it was just... It was so confusing to follow. Like, I had to reread some chapters because I just, I couldn't figure out who I was following. And it was just annoying. Like, you shouldn't have to do that with a book. <laughs> I don't think, anyway. 
And then the book that I literally just finished reading is Some Girls Bite um, by Chloe Neal. Uh, I was recommended this book by Peace Love Books or Under the Covers. I'm not really sure which one. Um, I read it for my mystery challenge, which was read a Faded Mates, Faded Mates novel. Um, I didn't, I didn't like it. I gave it one out of five stars. Literally, it was exactly the same with Truly Devious. Every time I try to read it, I'd fall asleep. I have been reading it for six days. And I, yeah. I will not be continuing with the series. I know there is, I think, like 14 other books, and I just, I can't. So I'm done with the series. I really wanted to enjoy it, but there's just, there's nothing there. Um, it's not very interesting, in my opinion. Um, so I am going to start a new book, and hopefully April will be better. Um, I did read quite a few good books in March, um, but I did have two that I didn't like. I like it all. Um, and then I had one, two, three, four, four, five. Five? Uh, five th three star books. Um, so not too bad. And then one, two, three, four four star books. And one, two, three, four, four five star books. So all in all, not a too bad of a month. Um, I am hoping that in April I do not find any books that I don't like. Um, I have already made my TBR book reading list for um, April, so if you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. Um, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, subscribe to see more of my content when I post it, and like, and yeah, I'll see you guys later.